Okay, so um, now we're going to talk about, in discussion for the heavyweights, what is the next plan? What's the next step um, for Fury, for Anthony Joshua, and Deontay Wilder? Uh, me, personally, I would like to see a rematch between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, but it's not what I would want. I would see what is best. You know, in my opinion, what the best, the best, the next best matchup should be Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. The reason why I say Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua is because if Tyson Fury faces Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury can go straight to the promoters. He can go straight to the main platform, the people that are funding this whole boxing match. And say, hey, look, look at what I've done against Deontay Wilder. So now I've done that against Deontay Wilder. So now I can get a 50-50 split. You know, Anthony Joshua is going to be hard for him to get a 60-40 or a 70-30 split uh, against Tyson Fury. Because Anthony Joshua is not garnering all this attention. You know, Tyson Fury is having attention from the pay-per-view He's on ESPN, he's on national TV, he's on NBC, he's on CBC. Everyone is talking about Tyson Fury. I think Tyson Fury can easily get millions of dollars in sponsor deals right now, right away. You know, the third option is uh, Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. I feel that this fight has raised Deontay Wilder's... um, stake his revenue it raised his popularity but i still feel that eddie hearn is still gonna try to do a 60 40 split he's not gonna give deontay wilder a 50 50 split if they do a rematch you know which is what is the fight that i want i think that after the rematch between tyson fury if wilder beats fury in a rematch i feel that that's the best alternative You know, and that will definitely raise uh, Wilder's um, stake. But the problem is I don't see Wilder beating uh, Tyson Fury in a rematch. The reason why is Tyson Fury is a pure boxer. Whenever you face a boxer, a pure boxer faces a brawler twice. Tyson Fury already knows he's already used to Deontay Wilder's punches. And he's also already used to Deontay Wilder's style. Deontay Wilder is not going to change his boxer, his his trainer, because Deontay Wilder is very stubborn, and he relies so much on his community. He relies so much on his own stable. So Deontay Wilder, if you think about it, Deontay Wilder has been the in the Olympics. He's been fighting for close to fifteen years, and he still fights the same way. You really think Deontay Wilder is going to change, even if he had a different trainer? which I don't really think he's going to do. You really think that he's going to change all these missteps that he could have easily changed like 10 years ago. He's going to change it right now because he did bad against Tyson Fury. Like DeAndre Wilder has been doing the same style over and over again, and he will still do the same style again against Tyson Fury. But the thing is, here's the thing like, even before the Tyson Fury fight, I knew for a fact that either Tyson Fury was going to win this fight or, well, I didn't know it was going to be a draw, but I knew for a fact either Tyson Fury was going to win this fight or Tyson Fury will look so good that it would end up being a draw because I looked at Tyson Fury's stable partner, Billy Joe Saunders, and I noticed that these gypsy guys, they fight the same, you know, they fight the same way. I, I don't really, Huey Fury does not really fight like Tyson Fury. Uh, I don't know what's up, what's up with him. But if you look at Billy Joe Saunders, he fights the same way. He's they're pure boxers. They know they know how to cut you off rhythm. They know how to perfectly jab. They know how to time you. They know how to slip, have perfect head movement. They know the sport. They study it. They're masters of the sport. They they study it to head to toe. Like they're they have generations of fighters. Like they know the sport. Tyson Fury is used to this. He's faced, he fought many heavy punchers. Tyson Fury knows how Deontay Wilder is going to fight. And Tyson Fury, to be honest, 
Tyson Fury wasn't even 100% in that Deontay Wilder fight. People were saying, oh my gosh, he lost 100 pounds, 200 pounds. But I'm telling you, Tyson Fury can still be in better shape. He didn't look like the Tyson Fury and Vladimir Klitschko. He wasn't in amazing shape like that. I think Tyson Fury can get in way much better shape, improve his mechanics, and, and just straight embarrass. Uh, he can easily make the fight so boring. He can embarrass Deontay Wilder where Deontay Wilder just can't swing at him at all. I think Tyson Fury wanted to make it a more enjoyable event, so he made some few mistakes, made you know Deontay Wilder come close a little bit. But in the next fight, he's going to make it very boring. He's going to make it very tough. For Deontay Wilder, he's gonna make tight and he's gonna take the belt. If Deontay, if Tyson Fury wanted to just take the belt and make it boring, he can easily do it. So that's the reason why I feel that if it's that's why I feel Deontay Wilder should fight Anthony Joshua now. The best purse you're gonna get split is 60 40. You're not, if you come back, if you risk it and fight Tyson Fury for a rematch, you're going to lose. If you fight Anthony Joshua right now, you can get a 60-40 split, beat Anthony Joshua, then come back to Tyson Fury, which we all know you're going to lose. So that's really the next steps for Anthony Joshua and the rest of the heavyweights. Now, I think either or, I think Anthony Joshua right now, he's kind of in a lose-lose situation. The only reason why is because it's the the... The crowd, the demographics, you know, everyone is basically seeing that Anthony Joshua isn't really fighting elite talent right now. Uh, they see that Anthony Joshua is scared. He's running away. He's not really fighting the best of the best. So they're pretty. They make. They're pretty much forcing Anthony Joshua to fight one of these guys. If Anthony Joshua. Fights uh like Dillian White or Derek Chisora or I don't know some over you know or uh I don't know whoever whoever um if uh if Anthony Joshua fights a uh, some subpar talent again you know the crowds are not really gonna buy into it and you will lose major. Uh, sponsorships, deals, and money. It when the crowd sees that you're not fighting top notch quality opponents, so it's a lose lose situation really for Anthony Joshua because I don't see Anthony Joshua beating either one. I don't see Anthony Joshua beating Deontay Wilder, and I don't see Anthony Joshua beating Tyson Fury. Only reason why I say it is because I feel like Anthony Joshua is too stocky. He doesn't really have good movement he's very flat-footed very slow and he has power but his power is not like snapping power it's more of you know he has to throw a combination to take you out he has to bully himself in it's not like a Deontay Wilder one-shot power and people say you know uh, Anthony Joshua is a pure boxer but if you really look at Anthony Joshua Anthony Joshua is not a pure boxer you know, he got lucky to get into the Olympics when the Olympic caliber talents weren't elite at that time. So that's why he was able to win it. Uh, Anthony Joshua is not a better boxer than Tyson Fury. Anthony Joshua still to this day has not improved his footwork at all. Anthony Joshua, he, all he, he still to this day hasn't improved his defense uh, his head movement. He's getting punched by people that are six feet five eleven, having issues early, early on, you know. So I don't see him beating Tyson Fury, and I don't see him being Deontay Wilder because I don't. He's not gonna do what Tyson Fury did, slip the punches right away, you know. Even though it's pretty simple, I don't see Anthony Joshua doing that because he's, he could do it mentally, but it's just that his body will not allow him to. So I do feel that it's the last days for Anthony Joshua for his reign if he fights either one of them. Uh, who knows? I, I, in my opinion, this is just a guess. I think that Anthony Joshua will not fight either one of them. I feel that uh, Tyson Fury, I think that 
Anthony Joshua's uh, company will not allow himself to fight either Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder. I feel that the rematch between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder will happen first because these guys are serious and now there's a lot of money generated between these two. The rematch will happen between these guys too. I feel that Anthony Joshua will fight a, a low-level talent, probably Dillian White or Derek Chisora in April, and we'll see what happens from there. So this is Right Hero. I'm out.